Hi, my name is Willie Farrell. I'm a senior software engineer in the IBM Developer Skills team. This demo is the fourth in a nine-part series that supplements the DeveloperWorks Live Briefing, Architecture, Design, and Construction using the IBM Rational Software Delivery Platform. In this series, you will see the demos that are performed as part of the live presentation of that briefing. In this demo, you will see how the Rational Architecture tools allow you to use design patterns in your models. In the demo, I use Rational Software Architect, but all of the features you see in this demo are also in Rational Software Modeler and Rational Systems Developer. To use design patterns, you need to open the Pattern Explorer view. On the main menu, select Window, select Show View, then select Other. Expand the Modeling folder, select Pattern Explorer, then click OK. The Pattern Explorer view opens at the bottom of the window. You can move the view to another part of the window. I like to move it to the right of the diagram. Now let's take a look at the pattern we're going to use. Expand Design Patterns. The pattern we're going to use is a creational pattern, so expand Creational. Select Singleton. Singleton is a design pattern that you use when you want there to be one instance and only one instance of a class available in your system. This pattern is often used when you write a class that controls access to some resource. The class needs to control which and how many client classes are accessing the resource, so you don't want clients creating instances of this class willy-nilly. There are two ways to apply a design pattern to a model. The first way is to right-click the pattern and select Apply Pattern. This will walk you through a wizard where you can indicate where the pattern is to be used and provide parameters to the pattern. Or you can drag an instance of the pattern onto a diagram and provide parameters there. We'll apply a pattern this second way by applying the singleton pattern to my class in my model 2. Drag the singleton pattern onto the diagram. Double click the diagram tab to expand it. A pattern instance is shown as a UML collaboration. The name of the pattern is shown, and the stereotype Pattern Instance identifies the collaboration as an instance of a design pattern. In the bottom compartment of the collaboration are the parameters. Singleton has one parameter, and it is a class, indicated by the class icon after the parameter name. The box on the right shows the binding of the parameter to a class in the model. Right now there is no binding, but we're going to fix that. Select My Class and drag it to the parameter binding box. The add message shows that you have dragged the class to the proper place. Once you see the message, you can release the left mouse button. Note that the binding indicator box now shows that my class is bound as the parameter in the pattern instance. Also note that the singleton stereotype is now shown on my class. We can show the relationships between the pattern and the class with a filter on the diagram. Right click on an empty part of the diagram and choose Select All. Now right click on a model element in the diagram and select Filters, Show Related Elements. Select Show All Relationships and click OK. Scroll down to show all of the elements in the diagram. We can now see that my class has an abstraction dependency on the singleton pattern instance. Now we can clean up. Double click the diagram tab to return it to its normal size. From the main menu, select File, Save All. This completes the patterns demo. In this demo, you saw how the rational architecture tools provide you with the ability to use design patterns in the models you create.